in this lecture we are going to discuss how we find the inverse of a matrix capital a by using simplex method okay actually we use to find the inverse of a is two phase simplex method okay now to use the simplex method we first transfer the given matrix with a suitable equation or with a suitable linear programming problem okay and to transfer it into a linear programming problem we get an auxiliary objective function which is given by max z this is equal to this is equal to 0 x1 plus 0 x2 okay subject to subject to ax this is equal to b and from the objective function it is clear that we take here x this is x1 x2 and generally b is taken to be the sum of the element of the row that is 3 plus 2 this is equal to 5 and 4 minus 1 this is equal to 3 we may take another value of b as we wish okay here we take the sum of 3 and 2 this is 5 and 4 and minus 1 this is 2 and we write it to a suitable form of LPP with using two artificial variable because we must have to get two standard basis of the form 1 0 and 0 1 so we write the problem as max z this is equal to 0 x1 plus 0 x2 minus x3 minus x4 here x3 and x4 are the artificial variable and we know that in two phase simplex method in the phase one we take the coefficient of artificial variable as minus one okay and the constraints are of the form the first constraint is subject to this is 3 x1 plus 2 x2 plus x3 plus 0 x4 this is equal to b that is 5 this is the first constant and the second constant is given by we write from the second row this is 4 x1 minus x2 plus 0 x3 plus x4 this is given by equal to 3 okay with x1 x2 x3 x4 get equal to 0 now we make the first simplex table of phase 1 this is the first simplex table now we fill the table one by one we first fill the row of cj which is given by 0 0 minus 1 and minus 1 so we write here 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 okay and then fill the column of b this is 5 3 we write here 5 3 and we fill all the column a1 a2 a3 a4 as the column a1 is 3 4 column a2 is 2 minus 1 column a3 is 1 0 and this is 0 1 okay and clearly a3 and a4 are in the basis because these are 1 0 and 0 1 standard basis so we write here a3 and a4 and corresponding variable are x3 x4 okay this is x4 and the corresponding cb that is minus 1 minus 1 so this is minus 1 this is minus 1 now find out the net evaluation cj zj minus cj the zj minus cj is given by this vector into this vector this is given by minus 7 minus 0 that is minus 7 and this is given by minus 2 plus 1 this is minus 1 this is 0 this is 0 okay so the most negative is this so this vector is introduced in the 
this this is incoming vector a1 is incoming vector now we find the mean ratio which is given by 5 by 3 this is this is 5 by 3 and this is 3 by 4 3 by 4 clearly this is the minimum so the key row is given by the row of a4 okay and this is the key column and it it indicate that the a4 is the outgoing vector okay and the key element is given by the intersection of key row and key column so this is the key element okay and now we introduce the vector a1 in the basis and normally a4 is outgoing from the basis and then the second simplex table as now we fill first the column of b the column of b is given by since a1 is introduced in the place of a4 so we write here a1 and a3 as usual in this position okay and the corresponding variable are x1 and x3 right and the cost vector that is cb is given by a1 corresponding cost vector is 0 and this is the same this is minus 1 right now to make a1 is the basis like a4 here the operation needed this is given by r2 dash this is 1 by 4 into r2 right and this operation gives the row as 3 by 4 this is 1 this is minus 1 by 4 this is 0 by 4 means 0 this is 1 by 4 right and operation for first row is given by r1 dash this is equal to r1 minus this is 3 so we make the operation r1 minus 3 into r2 dash okay and by this operation this is dash this operation this must be 0 and the element of b is given by 5 5 minus this is 3 into 3 by 4 so this is 11 by 4 because 5 into 4 20 minus 9 by 4 this is 11 by 4 and in similar manner we fill up all the element of this row right now we fill the net evolution row as usual manner and this is given by 0 and the second net evolution is given by this is minus 11 by 4 and this is given by also 0 and this is minus 1 into minus 3 by 4 that is 3 by 4 plus 1 this is 7 by 4 and clearly this is the most negative okay so this indicate that this is the incoming vector a2 incoming vector and what is the outgoing vector? To find out the outgoing vector, we have to find the key row. What is the key row? Now we get the mean ratio. This is given by this is given by 11 by 4 by 11 by 4. So this is 1. And since this is negative, so we cannot divide this element by minus 1 by 4 to find out the mean ratio. Okay. And clearly there is only one mean ratio so this is the minimum okay this is minimum here also we write minimum and our key row is the first row that is the row of a3 okay and the intersection of key row and key column is given by 11 by 4 so this is the key element now it indicate that a3 is outgoing vector and a2 is incoming vector okay now we go to the third simplex table get the basis vector a1 and a2 in the column of basis and the corresponding cost of basis vector are 0 0 this is 0 and 0 and the corresponding the variable basic variable is x1 and x2 okay now we make the operation by given by this is r1 dash this is given by 4 by 11 into r1 because we have to transfer the key element into 1 okay and by making this operation we get the first row as 
by multiplying all the element of first row by 4 by 11 so this is given by 1 this is 0 this is also 1 this is 4 by 11 right this is 4 by 11 and this element becomes minus 3 by 11 okay and the operation of the second row this is r2 dash this is given by r2 plus plus 1 by 4 into r1 dash because this element is minus 1 by 4 okay so this element must be 0 and this is obviously 1 and now this element 3 by 4 becomes this is 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 because 1 into 1 by 4 this is 4 by 4 this is equal to 1 okay and similarly if we operate this by using this operation this is given by 1 by 11 and this is given by 2 by 11 right now we find the value of zj minus cj which is given by clearly this is 0 this is 0 and this is given by 1 and this is given by 1 okay so we say that the condition of optimality satisfied because all of zj minus cj get equal to 0 so we write here since zj minus cj get equal to 0 so the condition of optimality satisfied okay we reach at the optimal position okay this is the final table of the simplex method now we can write from this table the inverse of a how to write the inverse of a from this table we first see what the vector that is here the vector a3 and a4 in the basis of the initial table okay and we write the inverse of a to the corresponding column of the final table or corresponding column of this vector in the final table that is from the vector a3 and a4 okay we write from this two column we write the inverse but here we write a inverse as we write in the first row as the row of x1 because we take the matrix a as x1 x2 the variable so we first write the row of x1 first and we write a inverse this is given by 1 by 11 and 2 by 11 this is the first row and the second row is the corresponding row of x2 this is given by 4 by 11 and minus 3 by 11 so we take common here from this matrix is 1 by 11 into 1 2 4 minus 3 okay this is the inverse of a and we write the inverse from the column of the artificial vector a3 and a4 and this is the total procedure to find the inverse of a matrix by simplex method right thank you thank you for watching